Essex Fire and Rescue wants to reduce the number of aerial ladders in the county from five to four. It says safety will not suffer. Harlow has 14 tower blocks. In the wake of the Grenfell Tower disaster, fire safety officers have inspected them all and found they met all safety standards and had no issues over cladding. Harlow Fire Station is currently home to one of five aerial ladder platforms known as ALPs. The others are at Chelmsford, Colchester, Greys and South End. Under current plans, the Harlow platform will be withdrawn from the end of the year. After that, if one is needed in Harlow, it would have to be sent from Chelmsford or Greys. When this was proposed last year, um, one of my councillors, Councillor Danvers, who was on the Fire Authority at the time, um, you know, strongly objected and, and, and put his views over Fourth Street. The decision was made on cost-saving grounds. I think there are issues about um, the funding of the fire service and other public services like the police service and local authorities generally. But when that's applied to specific um, you know, equipment that, that could deal with a tower block fire, I think that's something that needs to be re-looked at um, in the light of the Grenfell Tower incident. Essex Fire and Rescue Service says analysis of past incidents indicates that four aerial ladder platforms will be sufficient to cover the county. It says they're not part of the initial response to fires in high-rise buildings. Buildings that are designed so that fires can be fought from inside. It also says on average the platforms are used at most twice a month here in Harlow in the past year on six occasions. The proposal to cut one ALP will save £12,000 a year on servicing and staff training costs. The Fire Brigade's union says aerial ladders play a vital role. It's calling for plans setting out the future of the service until 2020 to be reconsidered. Richard Daniel, BBC Look East, Harlow.